Every so often the technology comes along and you think to yourself, wow, this is fantastic. And this is definitely the case. I think this must be one of my best technology discoveries of 2025. Now we all have seen these transcription tools that will take, for example, the transcript from a YouTube video or from a video or from audio. But this is the same idea, but on steroids. It has a mass of features that go along with it that allow it, for example, to search within the transcript and find examples of sentences or words that you're looking for. It has loads of other features. So in fact, what I'm gonna do is divide this video into three parts. First, I'm gonna go through the key features. Then, incredibly, I'm gonna show how this has ChatGPT embedded into it and that you can actually use the AI directly within the system. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you how to do an example and put in a YouTube video and extract the transcript. You can use this technology for free, one video a day or one audio file a day. I will put the link below if you want to try it out. I don't have any special deals or anything, but I really hope you like this video. I hope you find it as impressive as I do. And if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. Let's get started. Okay, so the website is called Gaston.live and you can use this for free for up to one video per day. I've switched over to using this technology now. Uh, I was using a previously a different transcript tool and the reason is is simply because there are so many additional features. Now in a minute I'll show you how you actually do it, but let's start by just looking at what it actually generates. So the obvious thing is that it will extract the audio for you. So you've got the audio file here, which of course you can play, but have noticed straight away that it's extracted the transcript. Now most technologies do that, but let me just highlight now some additional features that you generally don't find in other technologies. Now I'd say there's about five or six standout features in this technology that just put it on another level. First of all, when you've got the transcript, you can actually search the transcript. So for example, if I was to write in the word now, it would actually give me, as you can see, it returns all the examples of the word now within that transcript. Now, if you're a language learner, this is super, super useful because it means that you can search for particular words that you might be interested in seeing in context. So like I've just written in the word future. I like the way it highlights the color and I get those three examples. Now, of course, you can play them as well. So I could just click here I mean, in future episodes, um, I'll be speaking to leading LL. And I could click on this one. And then a couple months later, there was a, a letter, an open letter. Now that is so useful to language learners, but I think that's useful to any educator or any student. The next feature I want to highlight is that it will translate for you. So I've already done it into French. So if we can click back there on the English, and if I wanted to translate it into another country, I just click here, come to add translation, choose a language that I want to translate it in. You've got multiple languages, and then it will translate into that language. Now, obviously it will take a few minutes, but it will translate for you. Keep in mind, it's not changing the audio file. The audio file will still be in the original language, but you can translate into other languages languages if you want to do that. Now the next feature that I'm going to show you, I found this really useful. So let's say I'm going through some text and I want to bookmark this particular phrase here or this particular sentence or this particular chunk. I can just click here and immediately bookmark that and I can do the same anywhere and it's very easy as well to remove the bookmarks afterwards you just click on them again and then it will remove that particular bookmark and i just find this super useful because i might be working through the transcript and perhaps there's a sentence that i don't understand or that i want to check the meaning of or i want to look at again later then i can quickly bookmark it now connected to that and also super useful is the speed with which you can copy the text so let's say and i'm obviously doing this in polish most of the time i want to to copy this sentence here. I just click on that button. Now let's say I wanted to go over to Google Translate and check the meaning of that sentence. Well, I could come over, let's imagine for example that I'm Spanish. So I paste in the English and I get an immediate translation into Spanish. So this ability to be able to just quickly 
copy a phrase and then jump over to Google Translate and check the meaning of that is super useful. Now it doesn't have to be the whole sentence. You can always just hold your mouse down and select sentences or chunks of sentences or We've phrases. We've a lot of coverage of advances in. And you can do that as well, okay? So you could work either way. I just like the ease with which you can kind of grab text here and quickly check the meaning. Now, connected to that as well is in fact that you can grab the whole text. Let me show you how. If you want to super quickly access the whole of the text, just click on this button here, copy to clipboard. And this again can be really useful for language learners. Let's say, for example, I just want to translate the whole of the text, paste it in. You've got the whole of the text now copied in English. And there you've got the translation using Google Translate. So that's a really useful button as well. I promise you there's even more features and I'm holding back to some degree on the best feature. But if I just come over here, one feature that I really like that again, I hadn't seen in other tools is this ability to detect speakers. So in this example here, I've actually got an interview going on. And if I click here, what you'll find is that it will actually be able to detect and work out how many speakers there are in the conversation. So in this video, we've got two speakers. And I'm able to, for example, click here and just change that if I want to put the name of the speakers. Let's imagine that, for example, this is Tom. Okay, so I'm doing that and I'm going to click on the second speaker and just click here to say yes. And then we'll click on the second speaker and do exactly the same thing. And we're going to call her Mary. So now I've got it clearly marked who they are. Now I haven't come across that feature in other tools. It probably does exist, but certainly the transcription tools that I've worked with don't allow that. Now, now you've got a number of uh, playback op options. Of course, the most obvious one is that you can click on this button, and just play. We've done a lot of coverage of advances. But what we can also do is use this kind of WAV file here to jump to different parts of the audio. So I can click here and it will jump to that part and then I can play it. Them now and not see that it could do jobs that humans are doing. If we just click back again, I'm just going to come back to the beginning again. Another thing that we can do, if there's a specific part that we want to start from, we can just click. It's often like the, the attempt is there to um, Kind of and we can even kind of do that mid sentence. So if I wanted to click, for example, from this word computer, I can click here. Computer programs, they, they don't. So again, I really like that control, the different ways that we can kind of play with the video and find what we want. But, but probably the best way to work is generally to work with this WAV file. If you want to get back to the beginning, just use the WAV file to start right from the start. But it gives you lots of control over the playback as well. Okay, hope you can see why I like this technology so much. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you another feature that's incredible because actually ChatGPT sits within this system and that really makes it useful. One thing in the video, I did mention um, Google Translate. And if you wanna learn more about the, the magic button in Google Translate, particularly if you're a language learner or a language teacher, it's one of the most popular videos that I've ever made click on that link and watch that. I'm gonna show you now how the ChatGPT works in uh, Gaston. Uh, it's all part of the system. If you like the videos, of course, guys, don't forget to click on the like button. Let's carry on. So for example, if I was to click on this AI button and you know it will summarize the scrap the transcript for you for me that's the first thing it's going to do it's almost set to do that automatically and it does that does that for you just instantly but you know obviously i could ask it to do all sorts of things now don't forget once you've got that track that summary which can be really useful you can click on copy but what i'm going to say is i'm going to say can you extract 10 useful phrases useful phrases from the transcript okay so this is super powerful this ability um you know and i might say 10 useful transcript for a student of level b2 or whatever and i'm going to press on enter and now what it's going to do is extract those words from the transcript for me and it's done that Okay, really, really useful that I can kind of just work with this transcript straight away. I'm going to ask it for, can you highlight, let's get it to highlight the most difficult words. 
So I've asked it to highlight some of the most difficult words in the transcript for a learner of English. Now, of course, this might not be perfect. You may need to edit, you may want to change things, but I think, you know, this is really powerful and it's not particularly difficult what we're asking the chat GPT to do because we've got the text and we can actually just extract from that. Look at that, it's given me a selection here of some of the most difficult words in the transcript. Obviously, I could ask it for comprehension questions. Let's try that. So I've asked for eight comprehension questions and at the end to provide the answer. So again, I press on the enter button and it's done that for me and the same thing again. I've got my, in fact, what well, it hasn't, yes it has, it's done the questions and even provided the answers for me as well. And again, don't forget I can click on that copy button and I could go on, get it to do a gap fill, etc. So this is super useful. Now, I'm doing the same thing in Polish when I'm using this to study Polish, I can get it to give me key vocabulary, key phrases, uh, for example, get it to make for me some questions that I need to answer, etc. Super powerful, and to have this built into the system is, is very useful. So that's a really useful feature, and if you do like that, again, that's an excuse to click on the like button for me. I'm going to finish now by actually showing you how to use the technology. It is very easy, and remember, it doesn't just work with a YouTube video. That's what I've been using it for, but you can use it with audio files and with all different types of video repositories, and you'll see that it's super, super simple. So I click on the link here at the top of a video. Now it works on 99% of videos. There are occasionally videos, and I don't know why, that when you use these types of tools, it doesn't work. But uh, if I come here on Add Media, that's the magic button. You want to click on Add Media. And then as I've said, you've got options to upload files. But if you're using something from the internet, and obviously I'm going to use a YouTube video, it will auto detect the language. Click on Add. And in fact, one of the interesting things is the video that I'm uploading has got both English and Polish in it because it starts with a simple English introduction and then it works in Polish. But that works absolutely fine and you can see now that it's already beginning to transcribe the video. It's that simple. So there we are, the transcription's all done. And notice that it's done that really well. So it's done the first little bit there in English because the first part of the video is, is in English. And then once it jumps into Polish, I've now got the uh, Polish transcription. Also, if you want to change the title, you can just click up here and give it a new title if you want to do that. Fabulous tool. Highly recommend that you try that out. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And for the last time, if you did, please click on the like button. If you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Many of my YouTube channels are on there and they're organized in a specific way, including there's a specific section for language learners. Uh, most of the content is actually for teachers, but there's a language learning section there. And if you are a teacher, then think about signing up to the newsletter. We've got about 10,000 people on it at the moment. Um, and I really update you with all the latest videos that I put up, but also at the moment there's a free mini course that you get access to. It's a 14 part video course where I highlight some of the key technologies that you can use for teaching and learning. One other thing as well, I have released a course on how I learn languages. I was a complete disaster at language learning. Uh, I now speak four languages. And what I've done is made a course where I just basically show you all the technologies that I use online, all the methods I use to study languages. And uh, you learn a lot about how I studied Spanish and French and Polish and even did a little bit of Chinese and how I managed to actually learn to learn quite quickly. If you want to access that course, then I'll put the link below. Uh, each unit of the course lasts about 30 minutes and each unit of the course costs $12. I will also share some more links on the screen now to some playlists that I've made, one for teachers and one for students. Thank you very much and I hope the video was useful. You might find it useful, the playlist for teachers, all the latest videos from 2025 and all the latest technologies and another playlist to help students study languages, again focusing on all the latest AI in 2025.